It's a new day! This is New Day Northwest. Now, here's Margaret Larson. Good morning. Hi, how are you? How are you? Welcome to New Day Northwest. We are so very glad you're here to share this morning. But first, to kick off our inaugural green show, we thought we'd roll out something really big. So our tech guy, Brian Westbrook, is here to show off the latest and greatest in green technology. I'm backing up. He's arriving at New Day in style in an electric car. Brand new Nissan Leaf. Perfect. You got it, Brian. <laughs> Hi. Well, hello. How are you? That is a good looking car. This is the Nissan Leaf. It's $35,000 for the car, but get this it gets 100 miles on an electric charge. And I think we should yes. charge it, should we? Let's should we charge, charge it? it. Let's see how we do. First of all, it's just so nice looking, and it smells good, and I've been curious about this car for a long time. One of but the things... I, I want to know how you recharge it and how long it takes to do that. Well, this is a Blink electric charger, and it plugs in like this is a big dryer plug. You oh, have your okay. electrician yeah. install that into your house. You put this in your garage, and it has a nozzle right here. Looks a little bit like a gas pump, but of course, it's completely safe. I can push my hands on it, do whatever right. I need to do. And in the front of the electric car here, we have two different ports, one for for high volume charging and mm -hmm. one for lower volume charging. This we'd plug in, just snap it in like so. Can you guys see that on that shot, our audience? Because that is so cool. That's it. And that's it. So we can leave it plugged in for eight hours for a full charge. If we've got 15, 20 minutes, or say we're at Safeco Field and we've got a couple of minutes during a game, we can plug into one of their chargers and it'll give us miles and miles to go, 13, wow. 14, 15 miles. It'll do up to 100, but of course, that's if you're not running the stereo and the heater and the air conditioning right. and all that sort of thing. So, so does it have backup gasoline if you... It does not. It does this not. car so is got only electric. And charge. Exactly. Okay. And how much does this thing cost? Well, these you would install in your house. They range in price all over the place, but if you're at your aunt and uncle's house, for example, and you don't have one of these mm -hmm. you can plug with a standard charger of course it's going to take 22 hours so you, you might time your visit with the relatives appropriately <laughs> so that you can charge your car while you're there but you just plug this baby right into the wall if you need to absolutely that's and, amazing and ecotality has these they make these blink chargers and they're doing an ev project they have a department of energy money to put these chargers throughout the region seattle is one of the first areas so it's pretty exciting if you have a nissan leaf or another electric car Plug in the standard connection at, at uh, various different stops, and you're that good to go. That is great, Brian. I love that, and I like the idea of all electric. Okay, you brought us some other stuff that's cool today. First of all, a big round of applause for the Nissan Leaf. We're all trying to be more energy efficient, and that's a great way to go. We don't get a round of applause for, for my car. driving. So your, your <laughs> driving was awesome, especially since you didn't even make me move. You came in and just landed right on your spot. The Eton Soltra. This is a solar-powered iPod speaker set. You can Ooh. plug any sort of, of a device, mobile device in it. You can plug a phone. You can plug an MP3 player. But what I like about this is it, it's nice to see solar technology, so alternative use of fuel being found its way into gadgets. Uh, there's actually a cell phone charger that you can get that you just turn your phone over while mm -hmm. you're at the beach and it'll charge your device oh, right there. Okay. So it's nice to be able to live off the grid a little bit. Can I ask a dumb question? Do, do you have to be outside or will it really need sunlight or any kind of light? It needs sunlight. It will work with ambient light. It obviously works better with sunlight, okay. but it also has a built-in battery and it has a charger. So if you don't so you have sunlight anyway. or you live in the Northwest, for example, you can plug it in <laughs> and you're good to go. I don't know if we're going to ever be able to just depend on solar energy. Maybe not hundred percent, but maybe on vacation. Right? Yeah. Belkin makes a charging valet system, and this is really slick because you know we have all those devices oh, at home, yeah. and they use power even though they're not actually charging your device. So you've yes. left them plugged in, those wall warts. This takes care of that. It's got a nice little cord minder here. You can wrap the cords around it. It will actually turn off the power when you're not using it. Belkin also makes a couple of other devices. This is a power strip that has similar technology. Here's a lamp timer, the conserved socket. I love that. Let me ask you a quick question about this. Mm -hmm. You just put your device down on it? You actually need to plug your device in you on this one. plug this in. It has okay. various USB ports that will that will charge it. Um, but then when you're not charging the device, when it's not there, it'll Turns shut it off, off and says, it. you know what, okay. no more power for you. This is really nice. This is the Conserve Insight. And this will actually tell you how much power you're using. You can see it plugs into a standard socket just like mm -hmm. so. You can plug a blender in. You can plug your fridge in. If you want to know how long, how much power your washing machine takes per load, so you can bill your son for each load of laundry, <laughs> you can tell right here and it will calculate. The, all the money he has to pay me? Absolutely. <laughs> This is uh, Lutron. You know, we had the problem before of compact flash, uh, compact yes. fluorescent bulbs yes. that just don't dim. You can't dim the lights. Right. Well, Lutron has solved that problem. They have dimmer switches now that actually work with compact fluorescent bulbs. Oh, really? So you can actually dim 
the new style of compact <gasps> fluorescent bulbs. I so love it. So you don't actually have to have the incandescent bulbs, which are not as good for the environment and don't last as long. Right. You can buy those compact fluorescents now because you can use them with their dimmer. There's a lamp dimmer here that works with compact fluorescent bulbs. Mm -hmm. We have one of those for everybody. Everybody in the audience today? Way to go, thank you. And just a quick note, if you haven't made the move to rechargeable batteries, definitely a smart idea. It's a big upfront investment. I just switched. These are actually the batteries I use for my digital camera flash. And I can just save the set, the set of batteries. I don't put batteries in the landfill. And more importantly, That's good. I don't have to buy batteries every time That's I turn around. Very just important. have to remember to charge them. I'm curious about this little bulb. That's the newest one? These are the newest compact fluorescent bulbs. There's actually a compact fluorescent bulb right inside here. So it looks like this, but only scaled down inside the bulb. That looks like more flattering light, which is, of course, the only important thing other than saving energy. Energy. So, okay. And then we can definitely relate because some, sometimes the colors just don't look very flattering. Mm, no. HP okay. has the 2130. This is an Eco Slim monitor. It's an LED screen, so it uses energy efficient LED light. Let me and just tilt it just a little bit so we can see it on the camera. There we go. And this is a fantastic monitor. It's a 20 inch monitor. That's a lot great. of people decide that they want to get large monitors. Maybe large monitors aren't the best for the environment. This one uses 20% of the power of some of those larger monitors. Oh. So you can really think about your power consumption. Okay. And it's nice because it's got all the current connections. If you're looking to replace your computer or your monitor, there are great places that you can recycle your monitor. And also, if you're looking to upgrade your computer, Look for a manufacturer that offers a recycling program, for example, uh, Mac, uh, the Apple program, for example, you can mail back your system, your old system, if you buy a Dell or an HP. A lot of manufacturers do it, for, so check for that. That's They'll a give very you a label, good idea. Then you can environmentally responsibly, responsibly recycle either your old monitor or your old computer. Good, with convenience, because the problem Absolutely. is so often if we don't have a convenient way to do it, they just sit in the garage and pile up, Absolutely. and that's and, not a good place and for them. And believe me, I have a pile of garage. I think there's a pile <laughs> lurking here somewhere as well. I, I may have seen... <laughs> and one other tip, when you're recycling your computer, it's a really good idea to take the hard drive out because there may be sensitive data on there. And what I like to do is get an adapter. You can buy an adapter for $20, $25 that will take that hard drive, plug it into a USB port on your mm -hmm. computer, and now you have an extra backup hard drive. That's you have a good a, idea. A, another source for those files. So you don't have to keep the bulky computer around. You can just keep the hard drive. Right. Then you don't have to worry about your data falling into your somebody else's hands. credit card numbers or Absolutely. whatever else. All right, Brian, thank you so much. This was great fun. And, of, of course, we need to remind you that Brian has has been kind enough to bring a Lutron light dimmer for everybody in the audience. It's a great way to start energy at home and save as much as you can. We'll post the links to everything you've seen here today on our website on king5.com. Uh, what is it? King5.com slash new day. I just say this like a million times a day and it totally went out of my head. Now coming up on new day, Kelly Moore is going to be here with an eco-friendly party perfect for Earth Day. But first, the adorable and hugely talented Ugandan Orphans Choir performs for us. Don't go away. You've got to see these kids. And Brian, thank you again for your generosity. Thank you, everybody. Beautiful.